Hi YouTube! It's time for a new Linux driver tutorial. Today I want to talk about parameters for a Linux kernel module. But why would you use something like this? So remember when we last write our first GPO drivers? There I have hard coded the number of GPO I want to use in the source code. But what is if we want to change the number of GPOs, maybe because this pin is used by another application? So, okay, we would have to open up our source code, change the number of the pin, and then recompile it and load it into the kernel, which is a lot of work. So, there are better ways to make this more dynamically. And one way is to use a parameter for a Linux kernel module. And this is what I want to show you today. So here I am connected on my Raspberry Pi where I'm doing all this kernel programming and here I am in my Linux driver tutorials folder. And here you can see all the various Linux kernel modules I've already written. And because I won't start from scratch, I will copy this simple Hello World Linux kernel modules folder and I will create a new folder I will call 12 parameters. Okay, and let me change into this new folder. Here we have a make file and the source code for our um, Linux kernel module and I will change the name from my module to my params.c. Okay, and of course I have to change it in the make file as well. Okay, here we are now. So my params O. Okay, now I can open up the source file. Okay, so here we, know, here we are now. This is just the source code for a simple Hello World Linux kernel module. And the first thing I will do here is I will change the description. Simple LKM to demonstrate the use of parameters. So, and here I will create two variables I want to use as parameters. Kernel module parameters. Okay. So the first one will be a static unsigned int, um, and I will call it GPO number. This could be the number of GPO I want to use. And I will want to set it to 12 as an initial value. And the second um, parameter will be a char array. I will call device name and I will set it to test device here. Okay. And now to make this, these two variables to parameters, I have to use the function module param. And as an argument, the first argument is a um, variable which I want to use as a kernel parameter. The second um, argument is the type. In this case, I will choose uint, which stands for unsigned int. And the last are the permission bits. So I could use 0666 for octal 6666, and this will be all permissions, but here in my case I will just use S-I-R-U-G-O, which is enough permission to set these parameters once. If you're more interested in it, I will show you a link shortly. But let's go back to this data type here. If you're interested in the various data types which are usable for Linux kernel module parameters, I will put this link here in the description because here you have a list of all the types which are supported for module parameters. So and then I, I will copy this and I will do the same for my device name. This could be um, the name of the device file we will create in this kernel module or we could create in this kernel module and the type here is sharp which is sharp pointer I believe and which stands for a string. Okay, and one more thing I want to do is I want to give both parameters a short 
explanation and I can do this with the macro module parent description and here I have to pass the variables name and a string number of GPIO to use in this Linux kernel module and I will do the same for device name device name to use in this Linux kernel module. Okay, but now I won't implement the source code for a blinking LED or something like this. I will just print the, the two past values here in my um, init function. So GPIO number equals you with answer value here GPIO number and of course I will do the same for um, device name and here we will print out a string. Okay, so now I will try to compile this kernel module. So let's run make and let's see if I have made a mistake. No, it looks good. And now if I load my kernel module with sudo insert module my parents dot gho my module is now loaded and if I, if I look to the kernel slog um, the um, kernel module took the default um, values we have set so in this case 12 and in this case test device so now let's change it for this I will unload the module and if I want to um, pass the parameters if I press tab twice, um, it shows me the variable um, parameters. So one parameter is device name, and with an equal sign I can set it. I will set it to dummy. Okay, let's say dummy here. And if I want to set a GPIO number two, let's say let's yeah let's use a two here. Okay, and now if I look at the kernel stock again, I can see now. Um, the GPIO number has changed and the device name has changed. And if I only set one of these two parameters, only the one I pass here will be overwritten and for the second type the default value will be used. Okay, cool. So one last thing I want to show you today is if you want to see a list of all the available um, parameters for a module, you can run mod info. Um, and the name of your module, which would be my params. Okay. Params. Oh, okay. Mod info, info mod. Okay, maybe it's an Aspen mod info. Okay, here it is. Oh, and now you can see all the information we've passed to the kernel module, for example, our kernel module description. And down here we have the two available parameters. Here you can see the name, a short description and the data type. Okay, so that's great. Now we can dynamically change some parameters while loading our kernel module. Great, isn't it? So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.